What's up guys welcome to your fourth PHP tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be actually going over the first halfway cool thing that we can do with PHP and that's use it to make a decision for us now how we do this is use something called the if else statement and what it tells PHP is we're going to give you something to test if it's true do this if it's not do something else so let me just show you how this guy works first we need some variables so we we'll make a variable called first set it equal to 10 make one called second set it equal to 20 and make a variable called third and we'll set this one equal to 30 now to make your if statement all you do is simply write if and in simple parentheses give it a basic equation to test so we'll make if first is less than the variable second and then close it with your parentheses now on the next line use the curly braces and write whatever you want it to do if the statement is true so we say if the variable first is less than the variable second then we want you to output this is true close your quotations semicolon and end the line now our next line is our else statement and this is what we do for else this is what we want PHP to do if this condition is false so if this is false I want you to echo this is false. And your quotation, semicolon to end the line, and your end curly brace. So again, what we're telling PHP, alright, we got all these variables. If the first variable, which is 10, is less than the second variable, which is 20, we want you to spit out this is true. If it's not, we want you to spit out this is false. So as you see, if we save this, and go ahead and refresh it writes this is true since our condition was true but what if we had the third and this would be false so now it should execute the else statement this is false so let's go ahead and save that and as you see when you refresh it it says this is false now some other things that you can do this means exactly equals to two equal signs so if third is exactly equal to second let's just see what it is this is false because it's not exactly equal to and another one that you might use a lot is explanation point equal sign this means if third is not equal to second and let's see what that is and since it isn't equal to second we'll have this is true so now again just to review one last time make some variables if and in the parentheses write whatever you want to test the first thing is what you want PHP to do if it's true and the second is what you want it to do if it's false and next time we're going to be adding more else statements but don't go just doing it just yet because you're probably going to mess it up if you do it without watching my next tutorial. So watch my next tutorial and you might actually learn something. See ya.